Florida is sure to play a prominent role in the 2024 election. Both former President Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, they are two of the state's most famous residents and they are candidates in the race for the White House. But now Democrats are launching a Take Back Florida tour, which includes $1 million in funding for a voter registration push. This as Vice President Kamala Harris has visited Florida twice in two weeks. Republicans have a more than 500,000 voter advantage over Democrats in the state, an edge that Democrats once held for years. Joining us now, Florida Democratic Party Chair Nikki Freed. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So Florida has long been known as a swing state. I think a lot of people would argue that now it's not even purple anymore. Why did uh, Democrats lose their edge? What went wrong? You know, the reality is, is that last year in 2022, everything went wrong. Um, everything from not doing the work on the ground, uh, from not doing voter registration for a couple of cycles, not having candidates that were inspiring for people to turn out. But what has happened this year is a new revived energy across the entire state for a couple of reasons. We are seeing Ron DeSantis go out on the national stage completely implode. Um, we're letting Ron be Ron because this is what we have been experiencing here in the state of Florida. And so the extremism from the Republican Party, the extreme abortion ban, permitless care, uh, going after voting rights and now going after black history is showing and proving to Floridians that this is not who we are. I grew up in Miami, uh, as did, I know you did as well. This is not who we are as Floridians. And so it's giving Democrats an opportunity to revitalize our party infrastructure, make sure we're doing the work on the ground, and we are going to take back our state. But Democrats do have a lot of ground to make up. Four years ago, Democratic voters outnumbered Republican voters by 250,000. Now Republican voters outnumber Democratic voters uh, by over 500,000. What's the game plan here? I mean, is there even a realistic way to make up that ground? Absolutely. And that's what we're working across the across the state to do, um, because the reality of this is we have been doing voter registration by third party groups, which means that non you can't do partisan conversations when you're doing that type of voter registration. So we have seen a tremendously large uptick of non party affiliates. So right now, the NPAs, the independents, go about one third or about one third of the population of our registered voters. So this is an opportunity for us to go back into the fields, talk to new people who have moved here to the state. Uh, our youth uh, ha has not been uh, really engaged. We are having an entire plan for our statewide youth program, um, getting onto our college campuses, but also talking to those third parties, uh, individuals that haven't had real contact with Democrats in a very long time, going to areas that Democrats have been a stronghold into, but also areas like DeLand, Florida, which is Volusia County, which is a red stronghold, which is where we kicked off our statewide tour yesterday. Having over 150 people in that room shows the energy on the ground and people are ready to work. And the Republican Party has completely imploded. You're seeing a civil war all throughout our state between legislators um, siding with Donald Trump and or Ron DeSantis. And the reality is this is an opportunity for Florida Democrats to hold the line, to fight back, and to show the rest of the nation this is David versus Goliath. And we know the end of that story. We are going to be fighting back. And the people of our state are going to be with us. You've seen just in the last few months, Ron DeSantis is now underwater here in the state of Florida. He's dropped over 19 points since March. Um, so when he comes back here to our state, he's going to be wounded. He's going to be broke. He's going to be embarrassed. And this is our opportunity to show the nation that Florida is still very purple. I just won in 2018 as the last statewide elected Democrat in a seat as commissioner of agriculture. The Democrats hadn't taken in 20 plus years to be the first female commissioner of our state. That was just four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I have complete confidence in our state. Okay. Uh, Nikki Freed, appreciate your perspective. I Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.